What is up guys this is Tiro back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Evolution X ROM on this device and why this is interesting. Let me go to the settings first and in the about section let me show you what version is this. As you can see on top we have the Evolution X logo and then the Android version is 10 of course. This is the 4.20.2 homecoming official build the latest one and the security patch is of April 5th 2020. The stock kernel is Hydra Plus and the build maintainer is Vishnu. Then the build date if you notice this is the 30th April 2020 build. And the first thing which I have noticed is the most interesting feature of this ROM you may call. That is we get two cameras pre-installed over here and the Anix camera is pre-installed and if you go into the video mode we also have the vlog mode and stuff and this should work pretty fine as you can see it goes into the vlog mode. So yeah the vlog mode should be working fine then we can shoot videos up to like 4k 30 fps as you can see from here and the portrait mode and stuff everything should be working fine over here the front camera does work too as you can see. So yeah pretty much everything is working fine on this ROM and with the Enix camera you also get the Google camera 7 pre-installed so that's cool we get the night sight and stuff working right out of the box. You do not have to install any camera app on this ROM separately. So that's the most interesting thing of this 30th April build. Maybe they will remove one camera and keep the other one. Maybe they will remove the Google camera and keep the Enix camera in the next build. But if you want like both of them pre-installed, you can flash this 30th April build and that in my opinion makes the huge difference. And in terms of flashing this ROM, I would say it's really easy and if you have the orange box recovery installed and by the way my storage is encrypted. So I just like enter my pin inside orange box recovery and then just flash the ROM and reboot. That's how simple it is. You don't even need any G apps because G apps is preloaded on this ROM. And while you are flashing the ROM, if in case it boots back to the recovery, Make sure to like format the data once so that your storage gets encrypted because for the Redmi Note 7 Pro as of now there is no other way to decrypt the storage I guess. Now talking about customization and stuff yes there are plenty of it. If you go into the battery settings this is how the battery settings panel looks like we get the battery temperature and stuff and this I would say is a little bit disappointing thing that I have noticed on this build. I do not get much of battery life over here at all. You can see the screenshots from here. The battery life isn't very good but it's not too bad in my opinion. And the fast charging sometimes does work but sometimes I have seen the fast charging becomes really really slow. It gives about 800 milliampers of charging. It drops from 2000 direct to 800 or 700. So yeah the fast charging sometimes does drop here and I have had some issues with fast charging here. Like sometimes when the phone is heated up or something that I have noticed. Otherwise the ROM is fine. The battery life might be a little bit bad in my opinion. Now if you go into the display settings we have the lock screen display. We have the always on when charging and stuff double tap to check phone etc is there. So that's cool. Let me go back. We also have the dark theme. I have been using the ROM with dark theme that has been working fine for me. And then styles and wallpapers option is there. And here if you can like customize the theme and stuff if you want to. Then inside clock you can change these kind of clocks and if you go to the wallpapers and as you can see we have a lot of live wallpapers too over here as you can see but the stock wallpaper I'm using this is the MIUI 12 kind of wallpaper. This looks really really cool let me show you. As you can see if you want to get this wallpaper on your device you can click on the card right here and you can get it almost on any device. As you can see the animations do look amazing and these live wallpapers does not like lag the phone at all. Now let me scroll down we have this screen attention feature over here so that's cool. Double tap to wake is working super fine I have no issues. Full screen apps and hide notch option is there and if I hide the notch as you can see it shows the black border up top there. Now if I go into the sound settings here if you scroll down we have the Mi Audio Direct or the Mi Sound Enhancer and in my opinion this is working super fine. The audio via the headphone jack especially I would say I have seen it like going really really loud and clear. The audio is really good like via the headphone jack over here on this ROM and as well as with Bluetooth the audio is fine. You can disable the screenshot sound and stuff over here. A lot of like sound disabling option is there. You can enable this ring panel and stuff over here in the volume panel so that's cool and vibrate on call and stuff is of course there as you can see we have separate vibrating kind of things here we have the ringtone vibration pattern changing option like this 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 da mm, mm, like this it says over here 
and the vibrate for calls is there touch vibration and in call haptic feedbacks are there talking about the call quality over here on this rom i have had no issues volte calls and voice over wi-fi 2 does work super fine over here i have a geo sim and that works fine but there is no call recording option by default here so you gotta keep that in mind video call and stuff is working fine here in this rom and if you go into security yes we do not have the like face unlock anymore and here is the fingerprint scanner speed on this rom I would say it's not bad at all. Let me double tap to sleep. Let me show you again. As you can see, it does unlock the device pretty fine. Not bad in my opinion. Let's do it with the right finger. And here, as you can see, as you can see, it unlocks the device fairly, fairly quickly. And I don't have a uh, issue with the uh, like fingerprint scanner unlocking speed. And in the evolver settings, we have the themes and stuff. Here we can customize accent color and stuff then the new tint style of course evolution x has been one of the best drums in terms of customizations and this still like stays there we have the clock option and stuff then clock font size changing option and then clock font style of for the status bar only and then status bar items we can enable headset bluetooth extra icons from here so that's cool and status bar logo and stuff is there i have been using this biohazard because you know why and then there is the battery style option we can change it to big circle i have been using it with the big circle then there is icon portrait circle dotted circle field circle etc then the normal circle and text and hidden option then we have the battery percentage changing option you can change the position of the battery percentage to inside the icon to next to the icon so that's cool then we have the battery percentage while charging option and faulty icons are there as you can see we get these many faulty icons so no issues in terms of the customizations here as you can see the faulty icon just changed there up top so there are plenty of customizations in terms of the like status bar kind of things inside notification panel we have the heads up disabling option then we have the pulse or new notification or this is the edge lighting option and that is working like super fine with new notifications the screen does wake up with this feature and you can also change the pulse light color from here as you can see this is really helpful now inside quick settings panel we have the disable quick setting when locked and stuff quick pull down is there you can choose it to right left always and then we have the brightness slider column and row number customization over here quick setting footer text and stuff you can enable or disable it in the power menu we have the advanced reboot of course there is the advanced reboot as you can see you can directly reboot to recover your fast boot from here as usual then we have the gestures and swipe to take screenshot gesture is there and this like is the asus kind of long screenshot is there and then edit option and stuff is there for doodle and stuff as you can see the brightness control by sliding a finger on the status bar does work super fine no issues whatsoever and then we have the like other things like screen of open torch and stuff then double tap to sleep is there on the lock screen and status bar as well and inside aosp gestures we have the gesture navigation and from here you can like change the size of the spill bar on the bottom if you would like so that's really cool and you can also use two or three button navigation if you would like to inside lock screen we have the pocket detection and stuff fingerprint authentication vibration and of course there is no always unlock with the fingerprint scanner but yeah kind of bummer and then there is the charging animation you can change it to flash battery drop explosion or water and let me go to the navigation panel we have the enabling or disabling option invert layout option if you want to use like two or three button navigation and invert their layout you can do that and home screen long press action and stuff you can change it from here in the animation section we have the screen of animation you can change it to see at your scale and then we have the whole ui animation over here not a problem in the misc settings we have the gaming mode and stuff then charging animation is there wake up on charge disabling option is there and we also have this like pretty handy usb configuration by default you can change it to file transfer so that whenever you connect your usb to your pc it goes into the file transfer mode quick setting toggles this is how it looks like and over here I have seen some issues like this screen recorder is there and another screen recorder is there but I don't see the FPS counter anymore or the FPS showing up option where like you get it like from here. I don't see that settings pretty much over here. So that is weird. But one more thing that I have noticed like this screen recorder should work as you can see this is the oxygen noise kind of screen recorder and it should work. But as soon as I click on this record. As you can see it shows this exposing sensitive info and stuff then if i tap start now the ui just freezes as you can see it does not work anymore and the whole ui just freezes now from this point i have to reboot the device if i want to fix this issue 
as you can see it reboots automatically right now now some more things that i want to talk about is this with this led rgb remote app the ir blaster present up top on this device is working flawlessly so no issues the light which you are noticing on the background kind of those lights are turned on with this led rgb remote app and it is working fine on this device so the ir blaster is actually working fine with this rom and now talking about google pay and stuff yes they are working right out of the box you don't need to worry and inside system we also have the system updater from where you can see the like version and stuff as you can see it shows the like android version is 10 the evolution x version then the security patch level and stuff everything and you can check for updates from here and you can also use this updater to update if your storage is encrypted i guess you just need to enter your pin whenever it reboots back to the recovery and then it will automatically flash and reboot to the system now let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app open up speeds and the ram management over here facebook open fine twitter play store youtube now instagram now let's open all the apps from memory again as you can see all the apps are in memory so i don't see any issues with like app switching and stuff in this rom the like rom feels pretty fast and smooth no issues whatsoever and one thing that I like over here with this Google's recorder app, you can do record and like it does transcript. If you go to transcript, as you can see, it live transcripting the audio that I am saying over here into sentences. So this is really cool. It does not work by default on the Redmi K20 Pro, but it works by default on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. It is showing C20 over there. I don't know why. So yeah, this is pretty cool feature and it works right out of the box in this ROM. So this is really cool in my opinion. And the DRM info shows as level one over here because this is our Indian Redmi Note 7 Pro and I am on the latest Indian firmware the 11.0.8 or something i guess but when i flashed miui 12 yes it was like l3 there but right now it has become l1 again and in terms of pubg you can play on smooth and ultra settings and here is the geekbench score of this rom Gaming performance seems to be pretty good over here on this ROM. So that's been it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down if you have not yet. And I'll pretty much recommend the latest 30th April 2020 build on the like Redmi Note 7 Pro of this Evolution X ROM. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think. And this is Tito from KDNTX signing off for today. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye now.